How's everyone doing? Solo Screwed sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. What's going on guys? How's it all? How's everyone doing? How's it going? At the time of recording guys, Solo's on up 9% on 31 cents. Corium is up 5% on 26 cents. So guys, it's core season. In the last in the last one we went over um what is EGB. In part four we went over what is EGB. So today we've got part five. What are some of potential use cases of EGB networks in financial institutions? So let's get into it guys. So what are some potential use cases of EGB networks in financial institutions? Was fin in financial markets, <clears throat> commercial banking, new and competitive products and services introduction, cryptocurrency denominated products, e.g., from Tinker, Solid X, asset and real estate tracking, physical asset registration, house, land, automobile, marketplace, P2P, and syndicate. Syndicated lending, real time loan funding, and automated servicing via smart contracts, personal financial management (PFM), liquidity management, cash reserve management, and intra bank settlements, customer acquisition and loyalty management. Payments, micro payments or retail payments, wholesale payments, correspondent bank banking network, cross border FX, P to P payments, BTC Jam, Kudos, or Codius, or Codis, Bitbond. Payments processing, e.g. Coinbase, BitPay. Exchange offerings and virtual wallet, e.g. BitPesa, BitReserve. Currency exchange and cross-border rem remittances, Ripple, Kraken, MexBT, Coinbase wallet. Risk management. Risk audit, risk underwriting. Counterparty risk management, fraud risk management, identity theft prevention, liquidity risk management, capital risk management, systemic risk management, real-time global view, operational risk improvements. Trade, a supply, trade and supply chain finance, real-time Multi-party tracking and management of letters of credit, bank, payment, obligations, open account instruments. Debt servicing, insurance and factoring. Receivables, financing, commodities trade finance, decentralized contracts execution, document preparation services, trusted private e-doc exchange, real-time review, and approval of documents. Interaction between import and export banks, eliminating the role of correspondent banks. Corium Cirrus. The EGB, this is this is this is this is what the EGB's EGB is gonna do in the financial institutions. Capital markets <coughs> clearing and settlement, hyperledger, Surica. Trade execution, real-time transaction matching, automated DVP on cash ledger, post-trade, trade reconciliation, trade reporting, monitoring and surveillance, custody and security servicing, escrow and custodian services, asset documentation, record keeping, derivatives transaction, asset documentation, registry servicing, exchange. Regulatory, regulatory compliance, automate compliance activities execution, 
EG CCAR related real-time regulatory control limits enforcement EG for assets rehypothecation rehypothecation regulatory process optimization EG in AML KYC CDD KYC AML registries sanctions enforcement tools for regulators e.g. for passing real-time feed from FIS audit trail for compliance verification regulatory reporting automa automation through smart contracts DL as golden source and unified regulatory reporting protocols <coughs> These are all this this is what this is what they require. This is what they require for you know for regulations and you know for, for to be safe to 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 reassure them that everything will be safe when it comes to crypto and Corium's doing it. So EGB networks can disrupt the traditional financial markets. Central banks, commercial banks, stock exchanges and many other FS players keenly explore blockchain's potential. According to the World Economic Forum report published in 2000, August 2016, over 24 countries are investing in blockchain. Over 90 corporations are part of blockchain consortia and over 2,500 blockchain patents have been filed over the past three years. Additionally, over 90 central banks worldwide are engaged in blockchain discussions in terms of funding over the past three years. US $1.4 billion has been invested through venture capital to explore blockchain usage in the FS industry. Recently, various blockchain technology platforms have been and are being developed. Over 300 technology startups, mainly in the US, the UK and the US have been working on enabling blockchain for the FS space, Kraken, BTC Jam, Hello Block, Block Cypher, Bifu Bio, Digital Tangible Trust, Ripple Labs, Coinbase, BitPay, and BitPagos, to name a few. Established technology vendors have played a vital role in the blockchain ecosystems. For example, R3, IBM, Consensus, and Chain are the key players in the global blockchain technology market. Also, regulators and policymakers of FX have begun focusing on blockchain adoption. FinCEN Commodity Fixtures, Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, and Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, are just a few examples. Some examples of the problems that EGB networks can solve within the traditional financial markets. <clears throat> Real-time review and approval of financial documents linked and accessible through EGB networks, thereby reducing shipment initiation time. Reduce counterparty risks. Bills of laden tracked through EGB networks. This eliminates the chances of double spending. Transparent factoring, invoices accessed on EGB networks enable transparent and real-time view in, sub in subsequent short-term financing. Disintermediation by facilitating trade finance via EGB networks. Banks do not need a, trust, a trusted intermediary, intermediary. This eliminates the need for correspondent banks. Ownership transparency, title available inside G e G networks, EGB networks offers transparency into ownership and location of goods. Decentralized contract execution, as soon as the contract terms are met, status gets updated on EGB networks in real time. This reduces the effort and time needed for monitoring the goods delivery. Regulatory transparency, regulatory are enabled real-time view 
of the essential documents to assist in AML and enforcement activities, reduced transaction fees and automated settlement, contract terms that are executed through smart contract eliminate the need for additional transaction fees and correspondent banks. It's, it's, it's serious stuff, guys. This is what this is this is what is required. This is what they re require for regulations, guys. And Corium is ISO two o o two two compliant within the regulatory frameworks, guys. So EGB networks can solve the main technology risks and challenges of financial institutions. Technology risks and challenges. Elaboration. Performance. Even as their adoption requires high initial capital costs, many blockchain applicants have demonstrated poor scalability, high transaction processing delays and latency issues, especially where permissionless ledgers are involved. Owning to their very calculation intensive cryptographic component Component may D many DLS are significantly slower than the conventional databases. There is a risk that blockchain applicants designed for sophisticated multi -juris jurisdictional use cases may not be scalable, optimally functional, optimally functional, secure, and cost effective. Smart contracts are not fault tolerant, and there are chances of coding issues. Reviews have been found that large number of template contracts for Ethereum scripting systems contain significant vulnerabilities, for sure. I believe I know that. Digital currencies have also shown that they are not always crash prone. In the blockchain setup, when major FIs act as full nodes, there is a risk that the DL size may become unmanageable. As smart contracts are created by humans, these are prone to human error. Correcting errors in smart contracts is relatively difficult as these need to be specifically created for updates. Interoperability. Interoperability is crucial to maximize the power of DLS. However, today there is a lack of consensus on policy and data interoperability. Using different DL DLS requires data sharing cap capabilities. However, currently, the data exchange protocols and formats are not mature enough. Rival blockchain technologies can undermine system interoperability. Owning, a difficult, owning, owning to difficulty in transposing different consensual protocols, transaction reconciliation between different DLS may be challenging. There are challenges in using wallet software with separate DLS currently most DLS have their own wallet software. Enabling common wallet for various DLS is difficult. Standardization. There's a lack of industry alignment on certain keys on design points. For example, access requirements for completely open versus permission ledgers, interoperability between networks, improvement approaches and government processes. Common DL and network protocols and standards are lacking. Users currently have their own mix of technology and back office system stacks. There is also a lack of standard DLT tools or interfaces. This creates scalability and integration challenges. There's a lack of consensus on effective international standards and versions of blockchains. There is a division between many myriad approaches namely private blockchains e.g. R3 DAH and open-ended blockchains e.g. Ethereum so guys references you know all of that so guys this this the, you know e.g. EGBs you know it, every everything is compliant with institutions you know they you know they as it says, they, the EGBs can solve the main technology risks and challenges of financial institutions as we've just read through, guys.
So guys, it's been a long one. I, I didn't didn't, didn't want to go on for this long, but there we have it, guys. Guys, if you like the content, like, subscribe and share. I'm Solo Scrooge with the Solo News. Catch you on the next one. Peace.